Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel tonight. I really appreciate it. Tonight, I'm going to make some more Malaysian cuisine. Actually, I'm going to make an offshoot of Malaysian cuisine called Nayoya Cuisine. And I have to write this down because it's very interesting. One of my viewers, a girl named Marsha Lim from Malaysia, asked me to make some Nayoya Cuisine. Nayoya is a subset of Malaysian culture. And what it is, is that the Nayoya people are found along the Straits of Malaysia where it used to be a major shipping lane for the spice trade. I find that very interesting, okay? This spice trade was between India and China and it was the shortest route by sea, okay? All right? So what happened was the Chinese settled into this particular portion of Malaysia and took on Malaysian brides and became Nayoya. There's also another name for Nayoya. That name is Peranakan or Baba, okay? And it's a subset of Malaysians within the country of Malaysia, okay? There are technically Indian Nayoyas too, but supposedly, according to Marsha, not much is known about them. Therefore, Nayoya cuisine is essentially a, mesh, uh, a mishmash of Malaysian sambals, curries, coconuts, coconut milk, and lemak, and Chinese styles of braising and stewing and soups and in addition to all the richness of the blending of the two cultures okay the Nayoya people are technically at the brink of destruction because their foods are so rich and fatty that Nayoya people are going to the heart specialists to figure out what's going on okay they exist throughout small pockets in Penang, Malacca and Singapore and their recipes will vary, obviously region to region, just like anything else. It could say, you could say that somebody will cook a dish in a Singaporean style, and some will cook a dish in a Penang style. Well, tonight I'm going to cook a dish called a yum pong tei. Okay, a yum pong tei. And it's a rather simple dish. It is a Nayoya chicken and potato stew. Okay, every culture makes chicken and potato stew, and the Italians, the Americans, the English, but this is going to be Nayoya style, okay? A very small subset of the Malaysian culture. So I want you to stick around. Let's get going as with usual with you two. More than 15 minutes. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, first things first. Into some peanut oil, I'm going to load some shallots, some garlic, and some ginger, okay? Now, ginger is not standard in this recipe, okay? Ginger is not standard in this particular recipe, and that's because I'm interpreting the recipe my way. But what we have here is ginger, garlic, and shallot, okay? And I'm going to saute this until it's lightly brown and translucent. And then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, the onions, garlic, the shallots actually, garlic and ginger are sauteing. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, flavor layer. Always got to consider the flavor layer. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I'm going to saute this for another two or three minutes, get them translucent, lightly brown, and we're going to move on. Okay, the shallots, the ginger, and the garlic have sweated down nicely. Now, I'm going to add some fermented soybean paste. Now, there is a particular kind used in this recipe. I can barely pronounce it, tochiao or tochiao. My accents aren't that good, but in this recipe, I'm going to use Korean 
soybean paste called Gwen J because it's nice and pungent and sticky and flavorful, okay? And will work just fine in this recipe. You could use the Malaysian soybean paste. You could use Chinese miso, Japanese miso. But in this particular instance, I'm going to use Korean Dwenjang because I think Dwenjang has the best flavor out of all the miso paste. So I'm going to cook this for a minute or two and then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, I've cooked the soybean paste with the shallots, garlic and ginger for about three minutes and in goes the chicken. Okay. There's about three, three and a half pounds of chicken here. This is boneless chicken leg meat that I get at the local grocery store. This isn't thighs, okay? This is boneless leg meat, and I love it, okay? I get it at the local Mexican supermarket. They use it for certain recipes. And I just absolutely love it. Okay. So I'm going to mix it in here and get this cooking for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to move on to the next step. Oh, God. It begins to smell fantastic in here. Oh, my God. Okay. I've been cooking this chicken now for about five minutes. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in some chicken stock. About a cup. Okay. About a cup. Okay. And I'm going to loosen this up from the bottom. There we go. Oh yeah. Really nice. Really nice. Get that stock in there at the bottom. Mm -mm -mm. It is starting to smell so delicious in here it's ridiculous. Now I'm going to bring this up to a boil. Actually I'm going to add a little bit more. About two cups. About two cups. Okay. I'm going to bring it to a boil. It's basically at a boil right now. I just want to turn the chicken. Oh god. This smells so good it's crazy. Okay. I want to turn the chicken. There we go. There we go. Get this to a boil. And it's basically at a boil right now. Okay. And then I'm going to reduce it to a simmer. And I'm going to let this go for about five minutes before we move on to the next step. Okay. It's been about five minutes and the chicken is simmering in this lovely stew. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add some sugar. Usually it would be palm sugar or brown sugar, but in this case I'm going to use about two tablespoons of molasses in place of the palm sugar or the brown sugar. I'm going to use the molasses, okay? This is going to help darken the stew and add a layer of sweetness. Delicious. Just delicious. Just mix that in there, okay? And then I'm going to add about a half a cup of regular soy sauce and a half a cup of sweet soy, okay? And I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then I'm going to reduce it to a simmer. Okay, so right now, flame on. Okay, flame on. Turn the chicken. Oh my god. Oh my god, it smells so good in here. There we go. Turn some of that chicken. I'm going to get this to a boil and then to a simmer. And then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so I brought the chicken to a boil. And I'm going to reduce it to a simmer. 
And I'm going to add something that is not characteristic of this recipe, but it's something that I think will add some wonderful aroma and flavor, and that is two star anise. Okay, that's all, just two. Two will make this wok smell just absolutely fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up to a boil. I'm going to add some more chicken stock, just enough to cover the dish. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. There we go. I use an organic chicken stock paste that I get in the health food store. Okay. It's just enough to cover the chicken. The recipe actually calls for water, but I thought, man, come on. You're doing chicken. Forget the water. Use the chicken stock. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil, and then I'm going to reduce it to a simmer. So hang on tight. Okay, so I've got the chicken back up to a boil. I added the allspice, and I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. Remember, like I said, Nayoya people are Chinese that settled in Malaysia. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the Chinese flavor to the Nayoya cuisine. And oh my God, it smells so delicious in here, it's ridiculous. All right, so I've got the chicken to a boil. And I'm going to reduce to a simmer for about one to one and a half hours. And I'm going to add some potato in there eventually because this is a yampante chicken and potato stew. Lovely, lovely flavors. Lovely, ah, lovely, lovely aromas. Okay, so I'm going to bring that to a simmer. And in a little while, I'm going to add some potato and I'm going to add some mushroom. And I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Chicken's been simmering for about 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah, about 45 minutes. It's nice and tender. And right now, I'm going to add my potatoes. Okay. Now, most recipes call for the potatoes to be peeled. But I happen to like the skin on the potatoes I eat. So, I'm leaving the skin. For this recipe, you can use Yukon Gold or Red, and I'm leaving the skin. And then on top of the potato, I'm adding some straw mushrooms. Now, some people use shiitake mushrooms, and I like shiitake mushrooms, but I felt like using straw mushrooms for this, okay? so. I'm going to mix this in really well. I'm going to bring it to a boil. And then I'm going to bring it to a simmer. And I'm going to cook these potatoes in here for at least 45 minutes until they're nice and firm and tender. But I definitely want to mix them in. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells so good with the allspice. Oh, my God. All right, now I'll be back in about 30 minutes. All right, there it is. A yum pong te. Okay, chicken and potato stew. I'm going to plate this right now, and then I'm going to have my dinner. So hold on tight. So there it is, guys. A yum pong te. Chicken and potato stew, Malaysian style, Nayoya style, the Nayoya people, chicken, potato, and mushroom. Okay, I hope you make this recipe. I know you'll love it, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.
Okay guys, thanks for stopping by Music Cooking Channel tonight. I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out my Ayam Pang Te. Okay, Nayoyo cooking at its best. Okay, I know you can make this recipe. It's an easy recipe and I hope you make it. And I want to thank you for stopping by and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.